Good morning everyone! I'm in the Kia EV3 Earth Edition with the big battery 81 kilowatt hours, 78 kilowatt hours can be used and today we're gonna do a long distance trip test. How is this car on a long distance trip? It's very important. I mean with this big battery that's exactly what you do. We have the police here with a Ford Mustang Mach-E. No, it's custom, not police different department i'm gonna drive around 600 kilometers the good thing is with uh, kia they're so amazing they give me a charging card um, so i can charge wherever i want except for tesla so everything where you can use a card um, and when i do my thing i try to stay at ionity because it's the cheapest for me thank you kia so our first charging stop is at fastnet plech i think um, and I'm using a better route planner for the whole trip. First, I'm driving 140 because the car has a big battery and charges with 130 kilowatt up till 60% and then from 60 to 70% with 120 and then at 71% charging power goes down dramatically. Um, but I still think you can drive 140. We'll see if it uh, have to charge too high. Um, and too long we can drive slower but I, I think it's possible um, it's 13 degrees out it's cold after heat on 22 degrees driver only no AC I'm in normal mode no nope, eco mode crap we don't need that on a long distance trip um, like I said I'm using a better route planner for the whole tour because navigation of Kia is okay now with the latest update you can set what state of charge you want to arrive at the charger and at the destination that's cool but the charger it selects nah yeah it's not that amazing and a better route planner is a sponsor of this video and I want to show you the new features as well. It's really awesome. I can see my state of charge here, 84%. I see my real speed. I see uh, what my next destination is that I put in, but I can also, when I press here, I see I arrived there with 27%. I can see the next step, which is then to the Fastnet. I should arrive with 17%. Eight charges are available can charge with up to 300 kilowatt that's on the times and everything it's awesome they improved it so much I like it and the best thing about a better route planner is uh, that you can test your route which car uh, so you can uh, compare different cars what does this car how long does this car take how long does this car take that's awesome but also what's amazing you can check what speed should I drive so you can do a 600 kilometer trip like I did put in you want to drive 130 it all shows you the time how long you need then put 140 in and you see oh I'm faster I'm taking that because if speed is important to you so how fast you are at the destination everyone's different for me today it is there's a Cooper born <laughs> hello <laughs> when I entered the highway it was 630 and I reset my big trip um, if you use your normal trip, so since start, that resets even when you just turn off the car for a second. So I'm sure I'm going to do that when I'm charging or when I have to use the bathroom at some point. So that's crap. I have to use the big trip for that. If you want to use uh, a better route planner via Android Auto, Apple CarPlay in the car, you have to be a premium member. And by the way, I have the Kia connected to a better route planner. I see my real-time state of charge here and it connects really fast. That is awesome. That's way better than with Volkswagen, Kia Connect rules. And if you use the link in the description below, you can test a better route planner as a premium member for 30 days for free. Support them, they're awesome. This is my data so far, 60 kilometers driven, consumption 275. This car has 19 inch wheels, summer tires on there, 215s. Still the heat on 22 degrees, driver only, no AC, but at that speed at 14 degrees now, we have this high consumption, hello, it's still an SUV.
I arrived here with 16% and this is my driving data. A uh, bit high consumption, that's okay. Um, drive was awesome. I get 120 kilowatt. I didn't have to preheat the battery. It says uh, battery is perfectly warm. You can't preheat, so it should work. Drive here was really nice, it was all perfect. I could hold the speed the whole time, unless there was a speed limit, of course, but it all worked really nice. Consumption is a bit high, but I got here, that's important, and I didn't get here with a way too high state of charge, it's also important. So, uh, car says I still need 27 minutes to charge to 80%, um, and then we go. I charged to 77%. Um, I can put in how long it took and everything and the uh, average power, he's driving fast. Foo! <laughs> it's right. Um, I'm driving now 130. I want to see if with this I don't have to charge then so much at the end because charging power is not that much. I will look at the state of charge if it changes and if it's too much what does it think i arrive no eight percent oh maybe we slow a bit down <laughs> then we arrive with ten percent we'll see I'm on my way to the next Georgia. It's 109 kilometers now. I should arrive with, it says here 19, but it has to refresh. It will be 15%. Um, and it's just this highway always straight till the Georgia is coming. And then we have, I think, 170, 170 kilometers to go then back. Consumption went down a bit. There were a few speed limits with construction zone and 120 zones and stuff like this as usual and that's why I'm driving 140 again. Um, I need that because I don't want to be too slow and I think I can uh, make it. And if for whatever reason state of charge here shows that it will way be to, to less then I slow down, but I doubt it. I think it's okay. It's warmer too. Well, the sun is out. It's still 13 degrees. Heat is on 20 degrees, so I don't think it's doing anything. I arrived with 18% here. Uh, this is my driving data so far, and I think I have to charge till... 64 yeah, percent it was a nice drive um, i could drive to 140 was no problem a few times I even accelerated a bit but didn't drive very fast very long but it was was good consumption is better it's warmer it's windy now um, uh, but the sun is out there's no heat needed in the car that's just awesome I charged to 67% because at 64% my range was a bit, I don't know, <laughs> only 20 kilometers of margin. Let's charge a, a tiny bit more just to be safe and there's no stress, I don't have to slow down and anything. And if I have too much range because it's going downhill, it's fine. Just to be sure, you can trust a better route planner, but of course you have to have some you know, common sense, we're like, yeah, let's be sure. <laughs> um, I took a picture again of the charging session. Peak was 130 kilowatt and EMBW even shows a charging curve and everything. And I think till 60 something percent, it stayed at around 130 kilowatt and then went down to 120. So this was a perfect charging, charging session for this car. How is it to drive the Kia EV3 with the big battery on a long distance trip like this? And it's okay. <laughs> In this configuration where there are a few things missing like the head-up display and ventilated seats and so on, it's okay. So the seats are a bit hard. They're not amazing. And I feel like I'm sitting too high. I want to go lower, but I can't. 
Um, the steering wheel, this is a Kia thing. Um, maybe Koreans have very long arms, but I always feel that the steering wheel is too far away and they have to sit, put the seat, seat very forward so I can uh, have a normal distance here. I noticed this with a lot of Kias, so EV6 as well. And so the pos seat positioning for me is not uh, perfect. Uh, the cruise control, again, typical Kia. It's not worse or better than in the EV6. Um, it still has the thing when you're uh, slowed down because of distance and then you accelerate to get by and then you get off the accelerator pedal, you slow down and then it, it, so it slows down with the cruise control and accelerates again every time. Eh, it's, it's just annoying after a while that every time you go to the speed you want to go, get off the accelerator pedal, then it slows you down. Uh, why? The steering assist today, now it's windy, I would be okay, but before it wasn't windy and it's not bad, but again, not amazing. It's it, uh, Sometimes it's looking around a bit, uh, searching when you're in the corner and it's not horrible so it's really really okay there are way worse uh, self-steering assist but they're also better ones but it's okay consumption i'm totally on board with with the 248 today with 140 with a suv that is not very streamlined so this car is really not hey uh, it, it's not screaming i'm going through the air like nothing so i'm okay with that um, charging 130 kilowatt yeah, so you may have to wait a bit. So, of course, EV6 um, with the 800 volt system and charging up to 260, 270 kilowatt now with the new battery. Of course, that's way better and faster and you can plug in at a higher state of charge and still gives you 200 kilowatt. Here it's just 130 till 60 something and then it goes down to 120 and then at 71% it goes down to 90 kilowatt. This is where you have to leave because it takes a long time then. Sound system I'm good with, uh, loudness I'm good with at 140. It's quieter than the EV6, I said that before. There's less wind noise and road noise you don't hear at all. It's the only thing you hear is a bit of wind noise but it's okay. I'm on the last stretch. I have 92 kilometers to go, 150 kilometers of range, and I charge more because then I have to go home. <laughs> so it's not the 90 kilometers, I still have to go then afterwards a bit. So we arrive with around 580 kilometers in the end. I will drive the 140, should be no problem. Um, and it's nice and sunny and 19 degrees now. Woohoo, heat! My God! I arrived at 12.08, it just switched and, and I uh, uh, cleaned up a bit. And the car says 580.1 kilometers, I arrived with 24%, uh, 238 watt hours per kilometer, my average consumption. Let's analyze this drive. This was my consumption. This is the kilometers that the car showed and real kilometers were 11 kilometers more. So the car is under reporting a bit. I drove 333 minutes because I deducted five minutes from a, uh, a pee break. Um, but other than that, there was no problem. And so I get to 106.5 kilometers an hour average speed including charging and for that car with this charging power this is not amazing again 10 to 80 percent 30 minutes um, and in my charging test it was even 33 minutes that's not uh, the, the the result is amazing but the charging is a bit it's okay but awesome and when we go to the charging session we see that first charging stop was 28 minutes 16 to 77 percent um, 52.5 kilowatt hours 113 kilowatt average power that's not incredible but when you think that 130 is the peak then it's pretty good and the second time 21 minutes 42 and a half kilowatt hours 121 kilowatt average power 
um, from 18 to 68 percent charging so 95 kilowatt hours i charged on this trip again uh, as i always say this is not the whole uh, power because I charged at home and then the, the charging at home when I came back is not in there. But I think uh, for what the car is, this is pretty, pretty good. I'm surprised. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Battery Life One, and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel, Behind the Battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.